Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we'll be making the rustic tree ornament. We're going to get right into it with the supplies. You will need worsted weight yarn. I use Knit Picks Comfy Worsted, an e-crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, a stitch marker, and then you can use twine or yarn that you have on hand to put the ornament together and I will link this one below. And then I also used Aileen's fabric glue to glue the ornament together, but that's also an optional step. To get started, we are going to work on the top layer, and this is the smallest of the layers. We're going to do this one together. We're going to start out with a magic circle. So I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to wrap the yarn around two fingers. I'm going to push that back piece to the front and then pull it straight up. This will make your slip knot. You can use that tail to adjust it. And then what I'm going to do is make a magic circle from this. I am going to set myself up. I'm going to put my middle finger in that slip knot. And then I'm going to hold the end piece with my ring finger. I'm going to insert my hook in the ring. I'm going to pull up a loop and then just make one chain. Now we're going to make six single crochet into this ring to make a magic circle. So we have single crochet one, two, and at this point you can undo your fingers and just crochet inside the ring. So this is three, four, five, and six. I have a separate tutorial that I'll link below that goes a little bit slower and shows you this magic circle. So you can pull your yarn tight and then I'm going to place a stitch marker on the last stitch of round one. I'm going to count my stitches here one, two, three, four, five, and six. Your first stitch of round two will be that first V stitch here. And then this little bump is just that first chain that you made um, for your magic circle. So we're gonna start round two. And round two starts with an increase, which means two single crochet in the same stitch. It's a little tough to get under that first stitch. Then we're going to do one single crochet and place another single crochet into that same stitch. Now we're going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to do our first single crochet in the first stitch and another single crochet in the second stitch. Now we're going to do another increase. So we're going to add two single crochet here. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches. So we have one and two. We're going to change our stitch marker to the last stitch of row two, round two. And then I'm going to cinch my middle shut. It does open for the first few rounds. So for round three, we're going to do one increase. We're going to do that's single crochet one, single crochet two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So we have one single crochet in one stitch, two, and then another single crochet in that third stitch. Then we're going to do another increase, and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So we have one in one stitch two, and three. You may have to cinch your magic circle closed one more time and then we're going to change our stitch marker to the last stitch of the round. So for round four we're going to do one increase and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. our last single crochet and then we're going to do another increase so that's single crochet one and two and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next four stitches okay we're reaching our last single crochet of round four and then we're going to change our stitch marker and move on to round five so for round five it's increase single crochet in the next five stitches 
So in the first stitch, we'll be making an increase. And then we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. Then we're going to make another increase and single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, so we're going to move our stitch marker. And then for round six, we're going to make one increase and then we're going to single crochet in the next six. So here's our increase, single crochet two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to make another increase. and then single crochet in the next six. Okay, so we're gonna change our stitch marker and we're gonna move on to round seven. And we're gonna do an increase in the first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Here's seven, and then we're going to do another increase. And then we're going to finish off by putting a single crochet in the next seven. Here's six, and here's seven. Change your stitch marker. For round eight, we're gonna do something a little different. In that first stitch, we're gonna place three single crochet, then a slip stitch, then three single crochet, and then a slip stitch. So here, we're gonna place three. So we have single crochet one, in the same stitch, two, in the same stitch, single crochet three, and then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, and you're gonna pull it right through the stitch. So now we're gonna do three single crochet in the next stitch. This is one, two, and three, and then you're gonna make a slip stitch in the next one. In the next stitch, we're going to do three single crochet. And then make a slip stitch. We're going to continue that all the way until the end, until you get to the stitch marker. Okay, so we're at the end, and our last stitch is a slip stitch. We're going to put that in, and we are done with our top layer. So this is our smallest layer. You can take out your stitch marker and then what we're going to do is cut the yarn leaving a long piece. You can either fasten off or you can do a seamless join like we're doing here. What you'll do is pull the yarn straight out and then grab your yarn needle and thread that yarn through the yarn needle. You'll pull your stitch over so you see where your last stitch was made and you'll move one over to the left. You will put your yarn needle underneath both loops of that stitch and pull it through. Then you'll find the last stitch that you made, that slip stitch, and you'll put your needle right down the middle of the V of that stitch. And then you'll pull through. You can make a tug and then that will be your seamless join. From here you want to weave in both ends so you can pop this inside out so you can get to that other piece and just weave in the ends and cut off the excess yarn. So we finished with our top piece 
And I went along and made the middle piece and the bottom piece because they're basically the same pattern. You're just adding on a few more increases. So here are the different sizes. And what we'll do from here is put this together. So I will show you how I do that here. Grab a long piece of twine or yarn. I usually start with about 12 to 18 inches. What you'll do is thread your yarn needle into that twine or the yarn. And then you're going to make a knot on the end of the piece. So here I just bring two pieces together, wrap it around my finger, and make a knot. And then I'll make a double knot just to make sure it's secure. And the twine works really well because it's stiff, but if you have yarn, you may need to make a few more knots to make it a bigger, a bigger knot to go into that piece. So here we made our knot and we have our yarn needle on the hook or on the twine. We're gonna go into the biggest piece and we're gonna go right down the middle into round one. So put your yarn needle through the bottom and then this is the optional step, especially if you're selling this piece, I would put a dab of glue onto the knot so that when you pull it up, it will eventually dry and stay in place. If you are giving it to family and friends, um, the twine really helps to keep it in place, but if you are selling it, I would really highly recommend to put the glue in. So grab your middle size and put the yarn needle right down the middle of round one. And again, if you're selling this, I would just put a little bit of glue on the big piece and then just be careful when you're smushing down that middle piece. And you can always put it on after the fact too. Just put a little bit there and on the other side and then grab your needle and do it with the last piece. So put that through round one and then add your glue if you're using glue Add it all the way around and then just get the ornament in the place that you like it. So from here, I'll cut the yarn and then I'll leave a big enough space for hanging on a tree and I'll just make a double knot. And then just snip off the excess piece of twine and your ornament is ready to go. These seriously are my favorite project to do ever because they're so quick. They look amazing in any color and um, they're just really fun. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, please subscribe to my channel for more crochet alongs and crochet tutorials in the near future. Thanks so much.